Hey guys, welcome to my life's journey. People are asking me always, Udo, how did you do it? Udo, what is the key to success? You know, there's a simple answer. There's no answer. <laughs> That's the point. You have a lot of things what you have to follow. A lot of little tools where you have to follow. Little rules what you have to follow. Tools what you have to use and rules what you have to follow. So that's what you need to do. A little thing on every side, a little thing every day need to be done. So first of all, I would say to be successful, you can describe it in a simple way. If you go to the shop, you buy a box with a puzzle in a thousand pieces and then you, you assemble all things together and end of the day you see, oh, maybe 10, 15 pieces missing because you lost it. So you put the picture what you made with the missing 10 pieces, you put it on the wall, you step 10, 10 centimeter back, 20 centimeter back, one meter, two meter back, and then you see the picture. Oh, it looks nice. You you can see what is what it should be. You see the house, you see the lake, whatever you see. But when you get closer, you see it's not perfect. And this is actually success. Success to be successful means a lot of tools where you have to put together, a lot of tools where you have to bring together, a lot of rules where you have to bring together. And if you put these kind of things together in a perfect manner, in a perfect way, you will get the perfect picture. So this is where you have to follow up. And whatever it's happened is little things. I'm, I'm happy and, and I'm happy to share here a few of these little rules and a few about experience, one experience from my side about my life journey, my way to be success full with network marketing, with multi-level marketing. And honestly, I can't see a better business in the life. I can't see a better business in the world. I can't see a better business opportunity around except network marketing. Network marketing is a billion dollar industry. It's a billion dollar industry. It's an opportunity for each and everyone. Network marketing doesn't care if you come out from the university, if you just come out from a poor family, from an old family. It doesn't care about religion, where you go for. It doesn't care if you're a man or wife or whatever, man or woman, whatever, you know, no, you, you, can, you can do it. It's for each and everyone, but it's a hard way. On one side, what I'm always saying, to get successful in network marketing is super simple, super easy, but it's also the hardest way you can believe. It can't be harder, but it can't be easier as well. You know, it's, it's just about you, how you want to do it. And everything in life, it's always about you what do you do and how you do it. When I started network marketing, my first company where I joined in was 1988. I, I, I had been a normal guy. I had been a normal plumber. I got my, my trainee job. I made a 75 euros a month and I was, I was proud. I was proud. I was thinking, oh my God, 75 euros, that's a lot of money. You know, and after a while, I was feeling, oh my gosh, it's not enough money. You know, on the beginning, I could even save some money, but end of the day, I couldn't save any money more. Why? Because we are always, we are humans, we get used, we develop habits, and these habits can be really good for us, but it can be also really bad for us. So it's many things like this one around, and whatever you do, if you earn a 500 euro, you get the raise to 700 euro, you are happy in the first time, but after a while, you say, oh my gosh, it's not enough. If you make a 1,000 euro, then you get the raise to 2,000, you're super happy, super excited for a while, and then, because you grow into this life, you grow into spend a bit more money, buy different things, and and, and. so it's it's a habit what you what you develop. But also the habits, it's what you need for to be successful in our industry. It's a habit to pick up the phone to make one more phone call. And actually, if you're not successful yet, your success is only one phone call away. One more call, what you have to do. One more step, what you have to do. And if you do it right and if you do it proper, it's exactly this what you need to do. One more step, only one more step, one more call, and you can do it. When I started the business, I never understood this saying, everybody will die, but not everybody lives before. You know what I mean? I would say 95% of the people has a surviving. Surviving means... They make just enough money to get to the next paycheck, to get to the next salary paid. That's just going there. For the most of the people, the month is over on the 22nd, 25th. The, the, money, the month is not over, but the money is over. You know what I mean? So the last four, five, six days, it's always struggling. I was coming out of the same situation. I had the same problem. doesn't matter how much money I made. If I made my 75 euro a month, guys, I'm talking about a month, or if I made my, my 600 euro a month, or when I started to work for Audi and made 1,200 euro a month, 
it was always the same after a while. 25th, 26th, boom, month was over. So I was always super excited about February because it's only 28 days, so I <laughs> was easy always to survive in this month. But that's what you do. So what you want to do, you want to live before you die, you want to enjoy your life before you die, then do it. But you have to do it, you have to take the action and you can't blame anyone if it's not done because you have an opportunity with network marketing where, where you, it's on you. Pick up the phone one more time, it's done. So you decide your future. We can't change what has happened, but you decide your future. One thing, <clears throat> one point also what you need to be aware about is you cannot change the world. It's impossible. You can't change the world, but you can change the world where you live in with your friends around you, with the people around you. You can't change the whole world. That's impossible. But a little thing what you can do, first of all, start to change with yourself. You know, this, this is point number one. Start to change for yourself. Make it happen. Develop habits where it helps you to get a bit more successful, to make a little bit more money. When I started, it was not easy. This is, this is, this is me starting. You know, I, I, actually, it's a bit funny when I see the pictures today, but it's happened in the, the 80s, you know, Miami Vice, and this is, this is what I like. Miami Vice, uh, Don Johnson with the Ferraris going around, happy, excited, nice parties, boats, villas, ladies, and, and it was for us, you know, like crazy. I, I didn't want to miss any TV uh, uh, evening with uh, Miami Vice guys. This was really crazy. So, and this is why I, I bought one of the jackets, the leather jacket, whatever I have here. I actually, I guess it was only plastic, not leather. And um, the beginning was not easy. It was hard for me. But I, I won an evening, I went out, I went to a club, I, I listened to some good music. And a woman went, went straight up to me and she started to talk to me. She had been a bit older, 25, 26, maybe 27. And she looked straight into my eyes and told me and talk, said to me, you look like a successful businessman. I was thinking, hey, what's wrong? What she want from me, you know? So we started to talk and, and, and she talked about dreams and she, she hits a point, you know, where she talked, hey guys, you look like a guy who lives in Miami, with Miami Vice and this stuff. She hit she hits a nail directly and I start to listen and she started to talk about this one and she put exactly this one. I didn't I didn't get it at this time. She talked exactly about this one I would like to have a different life, a, a, a better life. So, and the point was the end of the conversation, I paid um, 125 euro for a weekend trip, for a weekend seminar, where I left, I left the club around about uh, midnight, and I was going back home, it was a 45 minutes drive, I jumped home, I, I took my shower, and was sleeping a while, went up again at 4 or 5 in the morning, was driving a couple of hundred kilometers, and then I, I had been on a, a weekend seminar, with an insurance company, my first contact with network marketing. And I saw all these successful people, I listened to all these success stories where people started to do, but one thing was a really important point, what was important for me was, uh, it was maybe the key point for me to join in and to do it, where the person said, if this was the, the number five or number six, so one of the top leaders from high me this time, he said, if you, want to reach it, you can reach it. If you believe in it, you can reach it. You, you have to do it. Because he said, if you do not believe in yourself, nobody believes in you. So this, this was the point where I said, okay, I need to believe in myself and then I can do everything. He said, yes, whatever you do, you need to believe in yourself. And I started to believe in this, I can do it. I started to believe I can have different vacation. I started to believe I can get a, a different house, a different apartment to have a happy life. So the thing what was happened on Sunday evening, I was driving back home, totally motivated. And in this time when I'm talking here now, guys, it was not like everyone had a cell phone and, and just calling home and doing stuff. You know, we, we, we stopped when we did our tours with the network. We were driving up to Munich. I was driving to Hamburg. We stopped in the, in the post office. So in, in the mail office and we had a, a, a a bunch of coins, we put it in and we dialed some numbers and we talked to the people, we made our recruitings. So it was not like this one. So, but I was coming home and I talked to my wife and I said, honey, we're getting rich. Now we can buy a new car, we can buy a better home, we can have vacations and you don't have to work and all will be good and all will be bad and all will be fantastic. And you know what she said? Are you drunk? What do you have done on the weekend? Are you crazy? It's impossible. 
you know, and, and this was the first time I really saw, it's right, I need to believe in myself, I need to believe in this, what I do. I called a lot of friends, I talked with everyone, and everyone said, no, it's not working, how you want to do it, you're a plumber, you're working out, it. it's impossible. So, but I, I didn't stop, I didn't want to stop, I just believed it's need to be done. And you know how I got the energy and the motivation always back? I was always driving to the meetings from the company. I was driving twice a week, around about 60 kilometer or 80 kilometer from Ingolstadt to Augsburg. We got some seminars, we got some training, we were sitting together, we made phone calls together, we made invitations together, we made presentations together. So we learned how to present the product, we learned how to pick up the phone, we learned how to talk with the people. That was a crazy opportunity. And each time I was coming back, I was motivated again. It was like 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 recharging the battery, recharging the accu, and go boom, get it again, boom, get it again, get it again. During the week, got the hits, then up to the next event, next seminar, boom, motivated again. And I did it, and I did it, and it's worked out. After a while, it's worked out, and it was really great. But what I learned in this time was uh, you need to have your dreams. You need to dream big. You need to dream really big to get it done, because. As well, if you do not know where you want to go, where do you go? You know, most of the people, when you talk to normal people and just stop somewhere on the street with somebody, or even we can do it now. I'll ask you a simple question. I'll give you five seconds time to, to answer this one. Give me five goals in life. What do you want to reach in life? You know, what you want to reach? How many goals did you write down? How many how many goals did you note? One, two? You know, 99% of the people has less than three goals. But even the goals, they want to be rich. But what is rich? Rich is nothing. Rich is nothing. You know, what is exactly what you want to do with some money? It's not about some money. It's about what you do with some money. If you want to have a big house, what is a big house? You know what I mean? I, I, I go to see a factory building. That's a big house for me. But it's not a big house where you want to live in, right? A nice villa is a big house. So you need to define, you need to define exactly what you want and need to dream about. And this is really, this has to go through all your life. And then always a dream about many, many things and a few dreams comes really true. One of the dreams have been here. This was my first car I bought, a first car, Mercedes 500 SL. I was so proud about this one to buy this car. I went to the shop, I bought the car. It was crazy. It was a feeling like, oh my God, you know, I, I, I was driving to the place. I was driving to the car dealership in Ingolstadt, Brown's Mental Call. I was driving there and I went in and said, I want to have this car. And, and, and she was asking, you want to pay uh, the car? You want to have a leasing or want to have a credit? I said, no, I want to pay the car all in one. Because I made some money to do it. I was feeling like, you know, like, like, oh my God. I, I was feeling like a king. I was feeling like a hero. I was so super proud of me. And then I took the car. The first thing I did, I was driving up to my parents and showed the car to my dad. I said, hey dad, that's my car. I bought this car, brand new car. And what did my dad say? This is impossible. You can't have made this money to afford this car or a serious way because I am 40 years old, I have worked since 25 years and I do not have some money to buy a car like this one. Boom, was a hit again. You know what I mean? If you do not believe in yourself, nobody believes in you. And the most, most thing what you get happen from the closest friend around, where you think they are behind you, where you think they want to push you, they want to help you, they want to get out, want to bring you out of the situation. This is a guy who want to pull you back. You know why? The jail is about you. They do not want that you get successful and they stay back and they left behind. The, the steps, the next step, like I said, the next phone call, what do you have to do? The next meeting, what do you have to do? The next presentation, what do you have to do? This is what, what brings you forward. And one more time and one more step is happened. The picture on the right side, this was a really cool picture. It was a really cool time. You know what I did? I, I started to do bungee jump. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to be crazy. By the way, what is crazy? You know, I, I've, I think it's crazy if you see somebody, 20 years old, he gets his job and he still works in the same factory after four years. He does after four years the same. Doing it day by day, day in, day out. And after 40 years, what has happened? What is left? Nothing. 
This is crazy for me. You know, go out and ask some people, 35, 40 years old, what is happening when the TV breaks, when the laundry machine breaks, when the dish cleaner breaks? What is happening? People need to go most probably to get a credit to make a monthly installment to pay a thousand euro for a new TV, for a new, for a new uh, uh, laundry machine. I guess this is crazy. When people are working so long and they do not have some money to buy things like this one to pay, it, let's call it in cash. That's crazy. You know, not, not this what we do for network marketing. I guess this is normal. And here was one step. I went up to the bungee jump. It was going up, you know, uh, 70, 75 meter. I don't know. I don't remember how high it was. So, but then it was up on the top with a crane. You know, the, the, this rubber band on, on your legs. And, and then you, you look down and you see, oh my God. And you think, oh my God, what have you done? You know, your stomach gets up and down and you, you, you think, oh my God, should I go back? Should I do it? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. You know, it, it goes super crazy. And then you think, oh my God, if I go back, no problem. You could say to the guys, oh, bring me back. I'm afraid I don't want to do it. But then you go back and then you see all your friends and what would your friends say? Oh, we know it. You're not brave enough. You don't do it. So what I've done, <clears throat> simple. I made one more step and one more step and you fall down and you get a feeling, you get adrenaline, you get a rebound and you, you, you just have been happy, super crazy happy and super motivated when you did it the first time. So this is this like, it's like I'm, I'm getting like a chunky, like an adrenaline. So I did it again and again and again and my highest jump had been 150 meter. I went to, to different places. I was jumping on a couple of places in Europe, in Las Vegas was nice and, and, and just just do it do what you love and love what you do and you never walk a day in your life have fun but always have your dreams have your goals and you need to have a roadmap you need to have the way what you do it if you have no plan if you have no map where you want to end so this this is a point when you talk with people what i said about the goals what the five goals you do a lot of people has a definitely plan what is it doing for the next summer vacation. A lot of people has an exact plan what to do for the winter break, where they go skiing, what ski lift they're using, what place, what bars they stop, what drinks they're going to have. They plan this one week, this two weeks, they plan it like, like, like super crazy. But what is about the rest of the 320 days who is left after you have your 40 days vacation? What is with your days? What is with the rest of your life? Where is your plan for this one? Guys, you need to set your sails on the right direction. If you do not set the sails on the right direction, you go to the wrong direction. But it's about you. It's not about the economy. It's not about your neighbor. It's not about the industry. It's not about the product. It's not about your family. It's about you. If you want to do it, you can do it. Change the world where you live in and you can do it. It's about only about you and nobody else. Believe me, you need to have dreams. You need to have big dreams. And I'm talking about big dreams. To find out if your dream is big enough, yes or no. You know what is how you how you find out is your dream is big enough or not. You know how it's it's simple. Talk with your best friends about your dreams. Talk with them and tell them, I want to be rich. I want to be like my sponsor. I want to have three Lamborghinis. I want to have a beautiful villa. I want to have a beautiful wife. I want to have beautiful children. I want to have a beautiful life. I want to have a business class and first class flight. And if your friends say, yeah, I believe you. That's good. You know what? Then your dream is not big enough. You know what your people need to say? What your friend need to say? Are you crazy? That's not possible. That's too far. That's too much. It's not no way to do it. It's not for you. Then you have the right dream. Then you are on the right track. That's what you have to see. Dream big and be always aware. Old ways never opens new doors. If you do always the same, if you walk always the same way to your job, to a, by the way, job just over broke, it's fact. Job just over broke. So always want open new doors. So open new doors and network marketing is open the door for you. We hold the door open. It was special. We from the leader teams, we from the guys, whatever company you do, wherever you are, we know we need to have a successful team to be also successful. So that's why this team in network marketing will help you compared to a regular business. What is your supervisor doing? What is your uh, uh, general manager doing? Is he helping you? Is he supporting you? Is he gives you your hand and say, hey, I help you. Come on, I teach you how to do it better. He's not doing it. 
He's just waiting for the second you make a mistake and then he runs to his supervisor. Hey, did you see? This guy made it wrong. Fire him. And then, poof, because he's afraid about you. You could be smart and you could take his job. Because in a regular business, you have always only wants a job to give him. In our business network marketing, doesn't matter. I can have five diamonds in my business. I can have 100 diamonds in my business. I can have 100,000 diamonds in my business. It doesn't matter. There's no limit. So dream big. The picture on the left side, my villa in Marbella in Spain, crazy good. I love this place. 2,000 square meter living area for my wife, for my child and for me. Done deal. Three people on 2,000 square meter. But not plot, guys. My living room was more than a 200 square meter. It was awesome. Awesome place to be. And you know how I paid for? You know, actually, actually what I really paid for my life? You remember what I said? How much I paid for this weekend seminar? 125 euro and all what I have in my life I paid 125 euro for because this is how I see it this was the investment I have done in my career in my life in my future this was my entrance into the world of network marketing I started to buy some nice cars the silver Lamborghini Diablo limited edition only 53 pieces in the world done in this time it was a crazy car guys it was uh, uh, really, it was also paid cash. So I paid it, thank God, press the button, done. You know what? It took me 45, 45 liter on a 100 kilometer. So I was not driving uh, uh, 150, 160 kilometer. Even I was living in Monaco in this time, you know, guys, it was just like a weekend, you refill your car twice. <laughs> it was crazy. Then I got uh, the Diablo on the left side, the golden one, all the great car. Well, it started to be too much Audi for me, so it was was nice, was fun, was definitely more comfortable than the old one, less consumption, and then I took the Mursi Lago in the middle. Mursi was a really cool kid, it was a really nice car, but this was a point, it was too much Audi for me. It looks like an Audi TT, but it's awesome cars, it was fun, but it's dreams. I was dreaming about this one, and the day was coming, and I got it. And the day was coming, and I got it, because why? I did some things for it. I walked for, I woke up every day, I picked up my phone. It doesn't matter what was happening. If I got negative news in the newspaper, if the TV was talking, whatever, because I know when people start to talk about me, is my life more interesting than their life? And this is what you have to see. So get it done, open new doors, and set your goals. Set your goals wherever you go, whatever you do. You remember the movie Bird Reynolds, Cannonball? It was crazy. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Maseratis. It was a crazy movie where, where these guys was rocking around. And I said, guys, I want to do the same. I want to do this one. I want to be and I want to be with these crazy people driving with super fast cars and super cars and having fun and having parties. So I started to do the gumball. I did it three times. And this picture over here, it's a Ferrari Lusso, four seater, 700 and a bit horsepower a beast on the road, we maxed it out with a 345 or 48 kilometer an hour, it was super crazy, super crazy, and it was in Tokyo, so we started in London, we were driving to, to Frost, to Italy, we went into Pagani, to the factory of Pagani, guys, uh, Pagani is building cars, he sells a car for 1.2 million, he has cars in for 10 millions, he got an offer from some guy, he offered him 9 million for a car, he said, no, I don't sell it. And when people was asking, when he reads the uh, so, so history, his biography, he, he was asking once, how you sell a car so expensive? How can you sell so expensive car? He said, sorry, we're not selling cars and we're not building cars. We build art and we sell art. That's a different point of view. And that's really, really cool, really nice. So people who walks in and it, it's a point where I go for. You need discipline and dedication. This combination can't stop you. This is a combination what you have to do for yourself. So dream big, dream big and go for it. That's what you have to do. A discipline, wake him up every morning. It's like when, when people start to be uh, entrepreneurs, when people start to leave network marketing in a full-time job, you know, they say, oh, 
Oh, I don't need to wake up at seven. I can stay a bit longer. Let's wake up at eight or nine. And 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 ah uh, no, I don't need to do my call now. So it's nine and nine thirty, ten. Oh, let's have the first coffee. It's eleven. Let's have a coffee again. Oh, it's midday. Oh, maybe I should jump out of my pajama. I should get ready made for meeting. Oh no, have one more coffee. Have one more lunch. And boom, the day it's gone. So the discipline is what you need. You know that's the funny thing is. When people knew I have to work from 5 till 8, from 8 till 5, I have my jobs and knew exactly if I'm not in time, I get fired. And if I get fired, I have no money. When I'm late, I do not get paid for. And in network marketing, so people have no limits, but they're getting lazy. So why? It's about discipline. It's about discipline. It's all about discipline, what you have and where you go for. A beautiful life, it can be always beautiful, it can be always better. One thing in life, what it's really true, it can be always better. And to get it better, you need to live on places where you see it better, where you see different point of views. So it's all up to you, make all your dreams come true. I, I was living in, in Monte Carlo, I was living in Marbella, in Ibiza, I was living in Switzerland. I had so many places where I was living, now I live in Dubai, and it's crazy to see a city moving like this one with one a sky rocking building after the next one, uh, happy people, funny people, smiling people, lucky people, and people who have goals. And, and when you see Dubai, how they built it many, many years ago, so somebody had a really great opportunity or a great idea and a great belief in Dubai, it's really nice. So what is your dream? What are you going to do for it? This is the question. Do not ask what other people can do for you ask yourself what can you do for other people what can you do for yourself what can you do for your team to make it happen like i said before team is success is the main goal in our business so again you see it's one more one more piece of the puzzle your discipline your dreams the uh, uh, what you can do for your people you see many many little points where you have to put together and you have to keep them together and you have to do it because if you don't do it nobody else will do it for you and success it's great it's fun you know it looks awesome it was a limited edition of the car actually it was serial number 07 because my ex-wife had been born on 0707 so it was really cool and it was a 07 that's why i never sold the car for more than 10 years and after 10 years I sold it, I had around about 25,000 kilometers on it because I never used it. I love to go with a Lincoln Navigator for my five children in and my nanny in and my dog in and my toys in for the beach. It was really fun. But successful people have fear. Yes. Successful people have worries. Yes. Successful people have doubts. Yes. But this is all feelings. And you can't allow to control, be controlled from feelings in business. It's impossible. So the only thing what you need to be controlled is about facts. Facts are controlling you. Facts what you put on the table. The fact is what you read in the morning if you read some gossip or if you read some motivational speeches. The fact is if you watch some, some silly TV shows or if you just find some nice motivational quotes on a YouTube, you find so many nice things on YouTube where you get yourself up motivated and the point is if you do not motivate yourself, if you're not able to motivate yourself, how somebody else should motivate you? So if you put this all together, if you put the feeling by side, if you be focused on the facts, you can't be stopped. That's fact. This is, this is where you have to go for. You can't be stopped if you do it right, if you do it proper. If you wake up without a goal, good night, go back to sleep. Never ever do the first step out of bed without a goal, what do you want to do? What do you want to reach today? If you wake up and you think, hmm, let's see what we do today. Do I do this or maybe this or do a call or maybe I go to the beach or I have a coffee or whatever. No, you need to have a goal every day, what you want to reach. And the best thing is you make your to-do list before you go to bed. Before you go to bed, sit down to do this. 10 points. I have to call my lawyer. I have to call my bank. I have to call this. I have to do this. Then wake up and boom, 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 done. And do the shit in the morning and you're happy all day. That's what you have to do. This is where you have to go for. You know, that this is fantastic. And my goal is, like I said, this, this cannonball, in this case, gumball. It was a crazy nice time. You meet people there 
where you think, oh my gosh, you feel something, you, you think like, oh, I have a lot of money, I could have a happy life. But then you, you talk to people and they have 10 times more money and these people are still normal. So that, that's still normal. It's about you, what you do. Of course you find some arrogant, nose up people in the world. Of course it's normal, that, that's life. But the good thing is when you meet the right people, then you get along with the world. And here what you have to see is as well an important point is, you are the average from the five people who surrounds you mostly. So take your friends, five friends around you, and you are the average of these five people. If you're not happy and you think it could be better, then change your friends. That's the point. This is where you have to go for. This, this, this is about you. It's again, it's about you. And do not be worried about, it's, it's like, like I said, I lost many, many people. I would not say friends on the road. I lost some people on the road. It's normal, but you find new people again. You find new people. You, you meet new people. And especially when you go in the network marketing area, you find more and more happy and successful people. So this is where you have to go. Where is your goal? Don't be worried about to lose somebody because you can win 10 more if you be focused on the positive things in life. And that's what you have to see is when you talk with successful people around you, what is it talking? They talk about the beauty in life, they talk about the next dreams, they talk about the next goals, of course about a happy family and whatever is around. If you talk with negative people, with people who are not happy, who have not enough money to pay the bills at the end of the month, what is it talking? All it's so expensive, especially euro since euro is here, all costs 10 times more money and the car is used to feel consumption and this is not and this is not and you know it's just complaining, whining, crying, complaining. You think this makes you happy? You think with this mindset you can go for? So one more puzzle, piece of a puzzle. Be happy, be motivated and keep your head up but not your nose. That's important. Keep your head up, not your nose. It's like a dream. It's like a dream. It's what you do, you know, never be upset with the results you did. Because if you would not start to move, it's not, it's, 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 you never reach somewhere. If you fail, who cares? If somebody else is happy because you failed or is blaming you, I knew you lost it or I knew you can't do it. You know why? Again, say a challenge about this one. So you can't do anything wrong even if you fail. So the only thing what you need to do, you need to do it again. Never ever give up. Winston Churchill, never ever give up. That's the point. Here I had some pictures for me. I love Los Angeles. It's a beautiful city. And it's a city about the dreams. All the dreams come true. LA, I, I took a Mustang Cabrio, was going around, went to the Beverly Hills Hotel, the world famous Beverly Hills Hotel. I was in the first time, I guess, 20 years ago. Crazy, it was like, oh my gosh, I was feeling like a movie, I was feeling like a superstar, rock star, super duper celebrity, you know. But these feelings, this, this gives you motivation. Sitting there, you see all the famous people around you, and if you behave normally, even the people start to talk to you. Everyone is human, so talk with the people. It's a crazy opportunity to go there. I love, I really love this place. I love, I love my Dubai. Dubai is such a nice place to be there. It's always a party and party and good music. It's this what I need as well for my motivation. So what is your point to make you happy and go for it? I love to go out to a club. Even I don't drink. I don't drink any alcohol since more than one year and I'm super happy, super excited. I love to get, see a good music, see a good show, having fun and, and, and you know, music, it's a, it's a incredible engine for me a good music when I'm not in a good mood I wake up in the morning I press a button for good music boom it's changed my life if I'm super angry because with a car and whatever in the car I change the music I put a good music in boom and all it's done it's so simple if you follow little rules and what I'm saying here don't work to earn a living work to earn a lifestyle you need to earn a lifestyle and this is what you should work for. Don't work for a living. No, work for a lifestyle. Work for your dreams. Don't work for a million dollar a month. No, work for this what you do with a million dollar a month. Work for this what you want to reach, what car you want to drive, how you want to help your parents, your children, what you want to do. This is what you have to put it up together and this is where you wake up and where you should work together. Build your own network. Don't work for somebody else. You know, if you, are, if you have a job, 
you work for a dream, but you do not work for your dream, you work for the dream from your boss. As long you're on a payroll from somebody, you pay for his dreams. That's why it's a payroll. You pay for his life. Just think about it. Who has a bigger car? You or your boss. Who has a bigger house? You or your boss. Who makes more vacation? You or your boss. Huh? But who does the work? You. Bingo. Done deal. Huh? So build. Instead to work, build your network. Take your time. Nothing grows overnight. It takes a long, long, long time. But if you focus on the final goals, if you always adjust your goals a bit more and a bit higher, it's always possible. And see the picture? Everyone is happy. That's people in the picture where I work over many, many years with and we're all always happy. It's all excited. You know, that this is network marketing. And you see on the side, never quit. Never quit. And you can always win. Go for your dreams. You can always win. You can win. You build a family. You learn new people, you meet new people, and the good thing if you work in an international company, what I always did and where I'm in as well now, an international company, you can press a button, you can sponsor the people nearly all over the planet. You know what this mean? Wherever you travel in your life, you meet always some friends. I can go wherever I go on this planet, I'm sure. One of my friends where I know from the business, it's, it's, it's just around the corner. I mean, people are asking me, what how do we do it? What do you do? And, and, and what do you do for vacation? I say, sorry, my friend, I live since 30 years in vacation because this is what I do. I do not see it as a job. I do not see it as a hard work. I see this one as vacation. That's what I'm doing. I, I, I really see it as vacation. I, I love what I do. I do what I love. And that's for me, that's no different. And you know what I mean? That's always the same. It's really a fantastic time where you go for and like I say, if you ever have seen it, the original Beverly Hills hotels, get in, get a nice coffee, talk with the people around, see the people around. It's really awesome. You go, you go in, you have a nice polo bar, you get a cool drinks, you get some some cool food in, and 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 even what I, what I still like, guys, you have still an opportunity to have your cigar. They have outside a, a small lounge. You can you can sit there, you can smoke your cigar, and believe me, when you sit there for two hours smoking your cigar, you will get in contact with a craziest people with the famous people with super nice people it's really impressive i love to do it network marketing opens new door to a new world the question is are you ready for the new world are you ready for this it's all about you what do you do if you do it and if you do it do it to the fullest work hard play hard party harder that's what i'm doing that that's what it, it's for life for I love to have fun, I love to have party, and that's all this energy for me. I have always friends around, going out, having a party. That's what I do. It's like I said, it's a lifestyle. It's not a living, no, it's a lifestyle. This was one of my favorite clubs in Bucharest, Players Club, super, super crazy. And I'm going to celebrate my birthday party soon in Bucharest again. Boa, it's a crazy club. Boa is also in, in Dubai, so I love, I love this club. It's really crazy. Good music, nice people, happy people around. So... Everything it's possible. Everything it's possible. It's up to you if you go for or not. I say thank you for your time. Stay in touch. Take care. All the best. Never stop. Never give up. Always when you fall down. I have my recommendation when you fall down. Doesn't matter. Fall in the back. You see the stars and come up again. Thank you.